Welcome to Snapdragon in 5, a new series where we talk about all things Snapdragon in different spots around San Diego, Qualcomm's hometown. I'm your host, Tech Me Out. I'm a content creator, tech enthusiast, and an entrepreneur. And like many of you, I'm also a part of the Snapdragon Insiders, a global community full of millions of Snapdragon fans. Insiders are a vocal community. You ask us what you want to know, and we'll tell you. And in this series, we're going to be answering a few of those questions. Today, we're kicking things off with our very first episode of the Snapdragon in 5 series on Qualcomm's campus with our special guest, Don McGuire. Hi. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, Don. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Awesome. So for today's episode, we're going to be starting from the top and we're going to be discussing what Snapdragon actually is. All right. Now, you ready for your five questions? I am ready. OK, here we go. What is a mobile platform and how is it different than a computer processor? That's a great question. Uh, basically, a mobile platform is a collection of technologies all kind of wrapped together on what we call like a little system on a chip, which fits basically on the tip of your finger. And then that little chip, which has all those technologies packed inside of it, goes into a multitude of different devices. Interesting. So in hearing that, how many things does this tiny chipset actually do? If you think about it from a device experience perspective, inside this little package, there are camera technologies mm -hmm. that enable you to take great photographs and great videos. There are audio technologies that make a great sound experience, whether you're listening to music or using a voice assistant. There are AI technologies, which help make your experience better in using your device, whether it's for security purposes or AI enhanced camera experiences, et cetera. There's connectivity, obviously. That's either Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or cellular connectivity. And then there's the central processing unit and the graphics processor, which enable performance of your device. If you're playing games, Really, it does a lot, yes. and it enables all the, you know, what we call premium mobile experiences that people like to enjoy from their devices. Yes, it does quite a bit, so especially for it to be so tiny. And in hearing that, I heard you mention something regarding the camera. Mm -hmm. um, what does that chipset actually do in reference to the photos? Our camera technologies that are on the mobile platform uh, really are housed within what we call our image signaling processor, or ISP which is the technical term. And what that little ISP does is it enables gigapixels of speed. So when you're taking pictures, you can take multiple shots at the same time and then pick the best one. It enables all the different low light settings. It's really about delivering DSLR quality photography experiences within a smartphone. So you no longer need to carry a separate camera with you to, to take really, really great pictures. And we power more cameras than anybody on planet Earth. So that's pretty cool in hearing all the things that the camera does, because I know I personally am finding myself taking my phone with me a lot more than my actual physical camera. Yeah. So hearing the advancements, I'm excited. Right. <laughs> awesome. Now, when it comes to artificial intelligence, I know there's currently like a lot of buzz around it. How does the Snapdragon chip make use of it? AI is very buzzworthy right now, and it's really about adding intelligence right to your experiences. So we have an AI engine that kind of operates throughout the platform in different aspects. So it can bring an intelligent layer to your camera experience, for example, by doing face recognition. It could bring a better experience to your sound and audio quality by doing voice recognition. And it could also add layers of security and privacy to the different types of things that you store in your device, whether it's passwords or any other kinds of data, whether you know it or not. It's really about adding these layers of intelligence to the different experiences that you have within your device. It's really interesting that it does all of that behind the scenes. Cool. Now, I did say there were going to be five questions, but I didn't say that they were all going to be about Snapdragon. Okay. <laughs> so for this very next one, if you could have dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Hmm, great question. So uh, I probably would have dinner with someone who's dead, okay, um, okay. and that person would be JFK. Interesting. I'd love to know like the personal side of JFK because yeah. there's the JFK, the persona, mm -hmm. and obviously he's pretty revered, mm -hmm. but I would like to kind of get the underbelly and, and the personal side of, of JFK because I think he was more complex than people realize. Okay. Um, and, uh, and I'd love to kind of dig into that. Ah, that would be a very interesting conversation to have. Absolutely. <laughs> 
Well, that's going to be a wrap for the very first episode today. Thank you so much for joining us, Don. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And thank you so much for joining us as well, everyone that's tuning in. And if you want, you can always refer to the description box down below to get some information on the Snapdragon Insiders program. And while you're down there, you can also feel free to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you feel inclined to. Until the next episode, we'll see you then.